Right there, hello everyone and welcome back to Klopp Talk TV and it is a Liverpool Real Madrid preview. Can we turn it round? Uh, well, before we get into the video, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. We are closing in on 800 subscribers, so hit that subscribe button, share this video to your mates and yeah, <coughs> sorry about that, but spread the channel. Let's get this video, ooh, I've done that a few times now, but... Let's get this video up to 12 likes and let's get this video, uh, let's get the channel up to 800 subs. You know what to do, lads. So just go and hit that subscribe button. And yes, Liverpool, Real Madrid, Anfield, under the lights. It has a very good ring to it, but we are two goals down. We are 3-1 down on aggregate, uh, an absolute poor performance in my opinion in the first leg, uh, but we did get an away goal and that's the only riding hope and optimism that I am going off going into this game. Can we do the unthinkable? Let me know in the score... Let me, do in, let me know in the comments down below what you think. Do you think we can bring it back? I did do a Champions League preview and a predictions video yesterday. That did quite well. So if you haven't watched that already, go over, hit, hit that like button for that. We'll give it a watch. See what you think uh, for the, the, the upcoming Champions League games. Uh, I've predicted a few games, but I won't reveal it. You'll have to go over and see if you want my predictions. But live, Real Madrid have a good away form. They, they've won six, I think, in the Champions League away from home. They've drawn one. So they haven't lost any out of the seven last Champions League games. They they travel well. Now, but um, they're without a right wing back. Now, I believe Odria Zola is going to come in for this game. Or it could possibly be uh, Mendy go over to that right-hand side because Lucas Vasquez done his PCL uh, the other day. So, look, Mendy could go over to the right-hand side, which means that they could go with a back four. Uh, and put Marcelo left wing back, or I'm not too sure, Ed Militao, Nacho Fernandez, um, obviously being that them centre back partnerships, I'm not sure how they'll approach the game, but they without what they, they could be susceptible to changing their formation. Now, that could be a big game changer in the fact that. Look, they don't need to go for it. They need they need one goal, in my opinion. They that's what they're thinking. They need one goal, kill the game off. And I think if they get that goal, it is game over. I think you get that. The first goal will be the turning point. If we get the first goal first, well, obviously, if we get the first goal, I think the pressure will get to them. Now, look, you can say to me all day, no, look, Ali, there's fans in there. Um, you know, whatever happens, you. you Liverpool is not the same without the fans. They aren't. They aren't. But these players will have more of a point to prove being that there's no fans in there. And I feel like this Liverpool team haven't hit the heights that we, we were expecting going into this season. They want to get something out of this season. If they if they can get something out of this season, they have to put in the hard yards to, to, tomorrow night. It's a, it's a must. Real Madrid like to play the ball across the floor, and that's why Nat Phillips and Ozan Kabak struggled last time out. They struggled because the ball was played on the floor, and when you have quick wingers who play at an intense pace and speed of play, it is very difficult to cope cope with, and that's why we struggled. But we lost that midfield battle. Now, will we set up with a 4-2-3-1, or will we set up with a 4-3-3? I'm not too sure. I think... There's part of me saying a 4-3-3 because I feel like that we need that extra man in midfield to conserve it, slow the game, uh, not slow the game down, but control that game in the midfield. Because if you let Modric, Casemiro and Kroos gain that control in the midfield, it is light work for them. It's game over, in my opinion. Obviously, they need one goal. And with the vision of Kroos, Modric, they can pick out a player in any time if you if you drop it by 1 or 2%. So they, there is an argument to put in that 4-3-3. Now, I'm picking the 4-2-3-1. Uh, I won't reveal uh, my start in 11 until later on in the video, but uh, I feel like Klopp has been managing the time around that front four. We've seen Mane come off, we've seen Salah come off, Salah not start, Mane not start, Jota not start, Firmino start. That is what I think Klopp is trying to manage his players. I think it'd be, I think it'd be a bit... It'd just be a be against him to really just throw everything into this game and play, uh, having played all of them for the 90 minutes or 90 minutes three times a week. I feel like that wouldn't be his ideal um, 
preferable option going into this game and it's actually quite a good discussion I'm, I'm happy that we're having this discussion because to be honest we haven't had this discussion at all over the last six months due to the fact that um you know we've been injury injury stacked but let's not go into injuries because that is a past excuse we're doing well we've got that winning mentality back fingers crossed that villa games give me enough optimism to hope that we've got that winning mentality back because did you know the last time we come back from a goal down at home was against west ham six months ago yeah you hear it right six months ago but you've got to remember, European nights have happened at Anfield. We've had Olympiacos, we've had Roma, we've had Barcelona, we've had AC Milan. Obviously, that was in Istanbul. But we've had, um, obviously, the Barcelona one, Roma, Olympiacos, Inter Milan, I think, was one as well. Um, Chelsea, that ghost goal. But this is Anfield. We can get the job done here. If every player puts their heart and soul on that football pitch, we can win this game. Now, that is all I'm going to say. Here's my starting 11 and score prediction. Let me know your score predictions down in the comments down below. Here is my starting 11 for the Real Madrid clash tomorrow night. Alisson goes in net. The back four unchanged from the one which started against Aston Villa on Saturday. Robertson, Quebec, Phillips and Alexander-Arnold. I've gone for a double pivot in midfield with Fabinho and Thiago. I feel like you need Fabinho in there. He shores everything up. He's confident. He's composed. Best number six in the world, in my opinion. You also have then Thiago, who's built for these games. He's an absolute magnificent player, but he hasn't really hit the heights in the league. But I hope he can perform in the Champions League. And this is the type of game for him to throw. In. I've gone against three three across the attack, uh, Mane, Firmino and Salah, Firmino in the number nine, uh, the false nine position, the cam as it's more referred to, I think this position suits him more so I think that that would be a preferred option and he was in form against Villa on Saturday so I think he could thrive in this game, Salah on the right, 28 goals in all competitions for him this season, I think this is a perfect game for him to start why not start Salah? He'll have a special motivation for Real Madrid, I'm sure. Mane, not been so great over the past few months, but you never take away uh, Mane from this team. He is a real threat at one side of the pitch, so I'd start him. And I'd put Jota on. I feel like Klopp's been managing the time of these players, so I feel like this will be a time to start all four and throw all eggs in one basket for what is a big night at Anfield. I'm going Liverpool 3, Real Madrid 0. Let me know your score predictions down we'll below. We'll be doing a watch along. I hope you enjoyed the starting 11 uh, prediction bit. Um, I will be doing a uh, watch along, but I got a football match. So, what will happen is Theo Woods will start running it. He'll, I'll, I'll pop on about half time, and we'll, me and Theo will both run it half time onwards. So, I hope you can join us. Hit the like button, hit that subscribe, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Come on, you Reds. Let's get this win. You never walk alone.